Today on Good Day Live, we are very happy to welcome our friend Shannon Giles, who when she joins us from Chances and Services for Youth, we know she's here to talk about important health topics when it comes to tobacco free, right? Absolutely. And this is a very important one coming up next week on the 13th. We are actually doing something pretty awesome in relationship to educating the public. But in this case, the education is really targeting our black community in and around the Wabash Valley, right? Absolutely. Um, um, so in honor of Black History Month, mm -hmm. uh, we are doing a showing of Black Lives, Black Lungs, which is telling the story of the way that the African-American community, since the turn of the century, the 1900s, yes. has um, been targeted by Big Tobacco, specifically where menthol products are concerned. And this is um, an excellent way to highlight uh, what's going on in the African-American community where tobacco use is concerned. and. We're going to be taking some advocacy steps to uh, tell our legislators that uh, we need a ban on menthol cigarettes. So when you talk about that, you know, I know with the Truth Initiative, there's always this information that comes out as to what is being targeted, who is being targeted, and why has the African-American community been targeted so much in the past? It's been, it's been happening since, uh, very aggressively since the 50s. Really? Um, they started targeting them with menthol cigarettes. They sponsored things like the Cool Jazz Festival. They got connected to the NAACP and the Urban League, and they started sponsoring HBCU activities. And uh, they found that of the, of the African Americans who smoke, 85% of them chose menthol cigarettes. Wow. And then in 2009, when flavored cigarette products were banned, menthol was not included. Oh. And so it allowed Big Tobacco to continue that process of targeting. They discount them, uh, menthol cigarettes in African-American neighborhoods. They give out free cigarettes. Um, what they figured out is because menthol is easier to smoke because it soothes the throat, it covers up that bitter tobacco taste, mm -hmm. um, it maintains a higher level of addiction. And so they've targeted African-Americans with this. And um, right now, the FDA has proposed adding menthol cigarettes to the ban. It's oh. in the White House waiting on approval. We're expecting it in March. So we're going to be taking an effort to send a little push their way. This is a good time to educate then, especially if that could potentially happen. So the opportunity to see a screening of two documentaries, correct? Yes, they're short. They're only about 15 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> but but it, but they're educational mm -hmm. and they serve a purpose, which is to make people understand exactly what has happened, why it's happened. More importantly, what you need to do to kick that addiction, right? Yeah, absolutely. One of the issues is that African Americans are more susceptible to smoking related diseases, heart disease, stroke, and cancer. They generally have less access to adequate health care. And so uh, banning menthol cigarettes is estimated it will save 6,000 black lives wow. every year okay. just in that one little effort. So it's really important. The African American um, smoking rate is higher than uh, other demographics within the state of Indiana, but they try to quit more often. So we just want to make it something where we can help them with that process. They can call 100 quit now. We offer free nicotine replacement therapy. There's lots of ways that they can choose to quit. They want to quit, but that menthol really has that hold. Well, we're hoping that folks watching will understand the opportunity is there on February 13th to head to Indiana State University for these free screenings, uh, Black Lives, Black Lungs. It will be at DD2 inside the Student Union. If you want additional information, you can always look on Facebook at Tobacco Free Vigo. KZOnline.org is the website, not only to learn more about this particular showing, but just to learn more about how to quit, because Shannon does a great job of making sure you have that information readily available to you there online. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We appreciate your time as always, and we appreciate you joining us. Stick around. There's more to come on Good Day Live.